Everybody say praise the Lord. Let us open our Bible on Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11. Praise the Lord. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Ayan. So, lagi nating alalahanin, ano man ang mga bagay-bagay na ating hinihingi, ano man mga bagay-bagay na ating inaasahan, ano man ang mga bagay-bagay na ating gusto mula sa Diyos. Remember, in His time, He will make all things beautiful. Not in our time, but in His time. So therefore, we have to wait patiently. Praise the Lord. Maghintay talaga tayo patiently. At ang Diyos magpakailan pa man, perfect ang kanyang time. Alalahanin natin yan. Pag sinabing in His time, remember His time is perfect. Praise the Lord. His time is reliable. Hindi mahuli. Hindi magiging failure. Hindi magiging unsuc unsuccessful ang kanyang time. So, kaya sa buhay natin, habang naghihintay tayo, intindihin natin ang time ng Diyos. Lahat ng kanyang ginagawa sa sanglibutang ito, always done in judgment. Ibig sabihin yan, merong siyang hinihintay bago niya gagawin. At yan ay dinadaan niya sa katulan. Basahin natin. Deuteronomy 32 verse 4. Praise the Lord. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all His ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is He. See? He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all His ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is He. So, ibig sabihin niyan, He is reliable. He is the rock. Strong foundation. You will never sink. You will never fail. Maasahan mo yan, 100%. But remember, His ways are judgment. Tulad niyan, we prayed for the church na itarayo natin dyan sa bigger area. Gagawin ng Diyos ang kanyang ways through judgment. Ibig sabihin niyan, pag nakita ng Diyos ang kalagayan natin na hindi na ito maging capable na mag-hold sa ating anniversary next year, so, itadaan niya yan sa katulan. Ibig sabihin yan, he will decide to provide means for our necessities. Praise the Lord. Baka magtanong, baka magtanong tayo, why is, why is it we have been looking and seeking and, and praying for that big church? How is it hindi pa nangyari five years ago? Uh, Siyempre, hindi pa niya nakita eh na punong-puno na tayo dito. Nung nakita niya na pwede pa tayo mag-extend mag -extend just to accommodate, nag-extend tayo, so na-accommodate. Ngayon, even though we extended, so napupursin ng Diyos next year, hindi na ito kapabol makahold ng number of children of God. So, dadaan niya yan sa judgment, mag-de-decide ang Diyos. Yan ang kanyang ways. Praise the Lord! Para bang nangyari sa panahon ni Moses nung naipit na sila doon sa Red Sea so nag-decide ang Diyos to open the, the sea for them to escape from the hand of the enemies. Yan ang ways ng Diyos. Always judgment. Praise the Lord. Always, always there is a valid reason. Always there is a so-called 
yung dahilan talaga na karapat dapat. So, tayo ngayon, itong pagtatayo natin ng simbahan dyan, wala tayong ibang paglagakan ng pananalig, pag-asa, expectation, siya lang. Anong gagawin niya? Basahin natin. Psalms 104, verse 24. Praise the Lord. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Actually, hindi lang yan ang kayang gawin ng Diyos. But there are more things that were done already more than that na ating pipray sa Kanya na church. Hindi lang yan ang kaya niyang gagawin. Marami na siyang nagawa. Marami na siyang ginawa greater than that. Praise the Lord. So meaning to say, hindi natin sabihin na magtatanong tayo sa ating sarili doon sa Diyos. Can God do this? Can God fulfill it? Can God grant it? Huwag nating i-question. Greater than that. Praise the Lord. Basahin natin. Psalms 8 verse 3. Praise the Lord. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. Yeah, we have to consider that. I consider natin yan. Thy, the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, the stars which thou hast ordained. Diba? Are they not greater than this project? Diba? Mas malaki pa yan. Kaysa sa ating project na yan. But in the eyes of God, napakaliit lang yan. Parang dust lang yan sa paningin na Diyos. Nagdepende na lang yan sa ating faith and obedience sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Whether we are worthy to be answered by God through our prayers, whether we are worthy to be entrusted in this works ministry. Kaya, let us come to God and ask for His complete and perfect guidance. Siya lang ang ating guide sa buhay natin. Marami. 40 verse 5. Praise the Lord. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us worth. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. O, oh, tingnan mo. Marami na siyang nagawa. At kahit pa man, yung kanyang pag-iisip, to us word, ibig sabihin niya yung, yung top ng Diyos sa atin in advance. Actually, itong mga bagay na ito, na porsi na ito ng Diyos ng una pang panahon. Matagal na. All we have to do is to put our trust in God and serve God heartily. Praise the Lord. At itong lahat ang mangyayari. Wonderful works which thou hast done, thy thoughts which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. There are more projects to be done by God. Hindi lang yan. Marami pa sa future. And we cannot count it. Hindi natin mabibilang. Kaya, therefore, napakasarap manalig sa Diyos. Napakadakila na ating maangkin na manalig sa ating buhay na Diyos. Basa pa. Job 5.9 Praise the Lord. Which doeth great things and searchable, marvelous things without number. Yes. Gumagawa siya ng mga dakilang bagay at mga bagay na hindi natin kayang liripin. Unsearchable. How it will be? How the, 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 the budget will be raised up? How the foundation will be founded? founded how the building will be erected? Hindi natin kayang liripin niya. But God will do it. God can do it. And many more things 
He will do. Praise the Lord. Marami pang mga bagay-bagay na gagawin niya. We could say marvelous things without number. Yeah. Masarap. This is sweet to trust in Jesus. Matamis talagang manalig dyan sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Unang-una, siyang may-ari sa lahat. Ginawa niyang sanglibutan and all that are therein. Ginawa niya ang dagat and all that are therein. Kita mo yung dagat. Daming ano niyan, laman. Creeping things. Ano pa? Yung mga creatures dyan, maliit, malaki. Ano pa? Yung mga beautiful uh, things nandyan. Lahat. Ginawa niya ang earth and all that are therein. Ano pa makita natin sa sanglibutan ito? Plant kingdom, animal kingdom, human kingdom, lahat-lahat yan. Ginawa yan lahat ng Diyos. Praise the Lord. Masahin natin. Jeremiah 10 verse 12. Praise the Lord. He has made the earth by His power. He has established the world by His wisdom and has stretched out the heavens by His discretion. Yes. He hath made the earth by His power. Power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Imagine. No, in his stretch niya ang heaven by his discretion, how, it, how wide it will be. Gaano ka, ka, ka wide, gaano ka high, gaano ka deep from the earth. Discretion niya yan. Yung lahat ng mga distances dyan. Discretion niya yan. Lahat ng mga moving lights. Discretion niya yan. Lahat-lahat. Clouds. Discretion niya yan. Why clouds turn into rain? Discretion niya yan. Why the rain the mountains and will run down to the sea? Discretion niya yan. Why is it if the sun will cause the evaporation of the sea and it will return to heaven. This question niya yan, lahat yan. Praise the Lord. Kaya matindi. Kaya, yun ang Diyos na magtatayo sa ating simbahan dyan. At meron lang tayong collaboration, meron lang tayong cooperation, meron lang tayong communication sa magawa niyan. Hindi pwede na ang owner gustong magawa ng something wala siyang communication kung sino yung ipagawa niya. Hindi pwede yung kanyang communicate at nag-agree man sa kanya to do the job, hindi pwede walang cooperation sa kanyang gusto. Hindi rin pwede yung kanilang team walang collaboration. So the same thing, pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. We have communication with God, we have cooperation with God, and we have the collaboration with God. Yan ang kadakilaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos. At siya yung magbibigay sa atin ng counsel. Itong gawin nyo. Itong gawin nyo. Itong gawin nyo. Si Moses was able to make an ark for the first time, but it was God who made the details. The materials to be used, the, the, the sealant, that he must use lahat, yung sealant, yung wood, yung disinyo, yung height, yung width, yung depth, lahat-lahat uh, na. Ilang palapag, saan ang pintuan, saan ang bintana, lahat yan. So, ganun din sa buhay natin. As we ask this project, God will counsel us. Yung hiningi natin na request kay Brad Bernard, siya yung magka-counsel kay Brad Bernard. Ito ang design gawin mo. Pag mapasa na yung ano na yan, plan na yan, mag-counsel naman niya siya sa atin dito. Mag-meeting naman tayo led by the uh, local president. Pag may pasa naman natin yan sa national president para mag-meeting ang lahat ng mga uh, officers together with the pastors, magbigay siya ng counsel sa atin. Pag ma-disseminate yung meeting doon sa lokal ng mga kongregasyon, Lahat magbig, magbigay siya sa atin ng counsel. Siya lahat magbigay sa atin ng wisdom at counsel for that project. Praise the Lord. Basahin natin. Isaiah 
25 verse 1. Praise the Lord. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. See? Yung kanyang mga counsels noon, faithful and true, it was not a failure, it was not unsuccessful, but all his counsels of old were successfully done. Lahat perfect talaga. And he will be still giving us counsel to be done. Hindi lang siya perfect in counsel. Ano pa? Perfect in what? Basa. Isaiah 28:29. Praise the Lord. This also cometh forth from the Lord of hosts, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working. Yes, not only in counsel, but excellent in working. What if only counsel and no work? Useless. Magbibigay kang counsel. Wala namang kasamang gawa. How can the people succeed? Kung wala namang gawa ang Diyos na magtulong. Wala namang gawa ang Diyos na magprovide. Wala namang gawa ang Diyos na mag-strengthen. Wala namang gawa ang Diyos na protect. Wala namang gawa ang Diyos ng lahat ng magbigay. Kaya not only excellent in counsel, but also excellent in working. Praise the Lord. Kaya kampanti tayo. God will do it. God will work for His people. Siya ang kikilos. Siya ang gagawa nito. So to God be the glory. We are so thankful to God for a successful crusade that was done uh, Apun. Praise the Lord. Uh, salamat kami kay Lord tayo, kay Lord Jesus Christ for the protection sa aming biyahe. Kasi that road that leading to that place is from here, going there, most of the road are pataas. Hindi basta-basta. Mas marami yung hill ang aming inakyat ng sasakyan. So, at least the, the so-called vehicle na pambundok natin condition or else mag overheat yung engine or else we will be hindered by the technic, uh, mechanical problem but to God be the glory we were able to reach the destination, we were able to cross the river and we were able to reach the exact destination, destination the venue successfully. Praise the Lord at uh, Successful din ang pag-iwan do ni Pastor RJ. I already introduced him to the people. And some declared, after I asked them, or after I told them, thank you for attending the crusade, that they replied unto me, not only now, Pastor, we will be here, but we will continue. Praise the Lord. So, ibig sabihin yan, naintindihan nila ang word of but they were observers at first, but when they understood the message of God, God touched them and they were filled with the thirstiness of their spiritual desires. So, kumbaga pa, hindi nawala yung kanilang craving to continue. So, magtemporary mo na doon sa bahay ni Sister Fe. Then, Unting-unting magtayo ng simbahan doon. Parsonage. God will provide. Praise the Lord. Kaya sabi ko kay Sister Fe, sige, kay after the, 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 the place na gusto mong iluti-luti, I will offer this to the congregation, to the members, Luzon Desires and Mindanao. Na market natin yan kasi ang heart's desire mo, the proceeds of the uh, lot or land na iluti-luti will be used for the Lord's glory para madali tayo makatayo din ang simbahan. Praise the Lord! Maganda yung area. Malapit ng magdugtong ang road ng cemented road, concrete road ng Davao City at ng North Cotabato. Province of North Cotabato which is nandyan yung Arakan at nandyan nakasakop ang barangay 
alam, malapit na siyang mag-connect. And still, the, 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 the work is still going on. Ang cementing patuloy pa rin. Praise the Lord. Sabi ko, salamat. Uh, i-pray natin na mapatuloy yung build, build, build ng ating dating presidente sa ating bagong presidente so that that project will continue until the completion of it hanggang tapos ang lahat. So, itong ating inihingi sa Diyos, since His ways are done in judgment, so I believe God decided now ibigay na niya sa atin yung bigger church based sa ating June 15 na, naka, na itong nakaraan and sa next nating anniversary this place yung ating pinuposi na number of visitors this will never uh, able di na able ito capable mag accommodate kaya yan ang i Pray natin. Praise the Lord. At maasahan natin, God will make it good for us. Gagawin niyang sundin yung ating hinihingi sa Diyos. Basahin natin yan. Numbers 23.19 Praise the Lord. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall not he do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Yes. How did we start about this project? Ha? Paano tayo nagsimula sa project na yan? We never started by our own, but we used to start by His Word. We used to start by His counsel. We used to start by His wisdom. We used to start by His precious words. Diyan tayo lahat nagsimula. Saan tayo nagsimula ng happy sharing? Dito tayo nagsimula. Saan tayo nagsimula mag-claim us dito lahat? We started everything from His counsel. And He will make it good for us. Praise the Lord. Okay, hindi natin yan ginawa. Hindi yan nagsimula sa isang taong haka-haka na lumalabas sa kalooban ng Diyos. You know what is the important sa buhay natin? We never go out from His will. Wag tayong lumabas sa kanyang kalooban. Wag tayong lumabas sa kanyang discretion. Wag tayong lumabas sa kanyang judgment. Eh ito na yung word of God. Dito tayo lahat nagbase. Dito tayo nagbase sa kaligtasan. Dito tayo nagbase sa katuwiran. Dito tayo nagbase sa pagrami natin. Dito tayo nagbase how we ask. Dito tayo nagbase about our hope and expectation doon lang sa Diyos. Dito tayo nagbase sa ating katagumpayan, dito tayo nagbase lahat. Kaya, if dito tayo nagbabase, guaranteed by God yan, gagawin niya ang kanyang lahat na mga sinabi. Yung binasa kanina, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, he hath he said, and he shall, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? See? Hindi siya katulad sa tao magsinungaling. Hindi siya katulad sa tao na magbabago. Kung anong sinalita niya, gagawin niya. Kung ano ang kanyang pinangako, gagawin niya. Kaya niyang gawin niya. And he was known about his faithfulness to his words. Praise the Lord. It is impossible for God to lie. Possibly and just mag sisinungaling. Kaya, wag tayong lumabas dito sa loob ng salita ng Diyos. Wag tayong lumabas sa will of God. Wag tayong lumabas sa righteousness of God. Wag tayong lumabas sa holiness of God. Wag na wag tayong lumabas. Ang result, last verse. Ephesians 1.11 Praise the Lord. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of Him who worketh all things after the counsel of His own will. Praise Yan. the Lord. See, after the counsel of His own will. Oh. 
Si Pastor, how he did start in the work of the ministry? Dito sa Word of God. Yung nangyari kay Pablo, nangyari din sa kanya. Nangyari kay Moses, nangyari din sa kanya. Why? Moses refused to be sent over Egypt. Wala siyang nagawa. Paul was persecutor of Christian followers. Si Pastor Samuel Gabre, he was called by God, but he keeps on refusing and refusing until finally God called him nearing to his death. Tinawag siya, malapit na sa kanyang kamatayan. Wala siyang nagawa. Kaya tayong lahat, dito tayo mag-start, maging successful lang lahat, matatapos tayo lahat dito. Pag nasa within tayo sa kalooban ng ating Panginoong Diyos, we are so blessed. Ito na yung final na in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of Him who worketh in all things after the counsel of His own will. Okay, itong lahat according to the counsel of His own will. Not our own will. Praise the Lord. Kaya walang kaduda-duda, walang alinlangan that will be granted. In His time, He will make all things beautiful and all His ways always through judgment. Kaya may basihan ang Diyos sa kanyang discretion, sa kanyang decision, why that will, that must be granted to us because of the situation we've been experienced. Yung experience natin last, ano, filled up. Then, maraming nag-declare who will be coming. So, ang expectation natin, visitors this year sa June 15 might be doubled or tripled. Minsan, magtingin ako sa mga young people who are grouping for their spiritual activities in every congregation. What if altogether young people will be coming Ang dami kaya nila. Yun lang experience namin dyan sa Dabao Oriental. Pastor John Mark and Pastor RJ. Tingnan mo, hindi sino mag-akala yung mga pasili- pas- pasi natin, facilitators natin. Now they are pastors. There were 82 of YPs who attended that spiritual retreat. Imagine. What if all congregations of the young people members will have the opportunity to come next year all together. How about their parents who are still fiery in the Lord? How about other members? He will make all things beautiful in his time. And according to his time, he will do it by the way of judgment. Kaya, buo ang puso ko, buo ang damdamin ko, yan ay magagana, <clears throat> yan ay mangyayari. Asahan natin ang mga counsels ng Diyos will be uh, delivered to us for us to do, for us to fulfill. Kasi, not only excellent in counsel ang Diyos, but also excellent in working. Praise the Lord. Ichatanal niya yan lahat sa atin. Yeah, when I asked Brother Bernard just this uh, afternoon, 12, uh, 12.30 p.m., sabi ko, kumusta, Brother Bernard? Sabi niya, Pastor, iniistadihan ko pala. Uh, nasa ano pa siya ngayon? Uh, nag study pa siya sa position ng building, sa laki ng building. Hindi pa niya na-drop, pero he is already studying about it. Sabi ko, thank you. God will give you his counsel what to do. Lahat, kanya lahat galing yan. So, ito na ngayon ang buhay natin. Let us wait because in His time, He will make all things beautiful. Let us expect His counsel to be given to us what to do, what to, to, to move then. Since He is excellent in counsel, perfect at excellent in working, so 100% guaranteed by God matutupad ang lahat. Kahit pa man ang ating mga personal prayers, personal uh, necessities, personal desires, 
i-grant yan lahat ng Diyos. Walang iiwan na basta condition. Be faithful unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Faithful lang tayo sa Diyos. Yan lang hinihingi ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Let us not deny God. Let us not reject God. Let us be obedient. Let us be submissive to God. Let us be faithful unto God. Yan lang hinihingi ng Diyos sa buhay natin. At ang sinabi niya, ask anything. It will be granted unto you. Wala kang kakatakutan na aagawin yan sa iyo ng somebody. Wala kang kakatakutan na maging failure ka sa buhay mo. Ang nakakatakot, ay nga minsan may nagpost dyan, hindi nakakatakot ang matamaan sa salita ng Diyos. Ang nakakatakot kung umilag ka sa salita ng Diyos. Tinan mo yan. May, may, merong, merong ano, merong sense. It makes sense. Hindi nakakatakot mabulls ay ka sa word of God because God is fixing your life. Ang nakakatakot umiilag ka sa salita ng Diyos because you do not want to obey, to follow His counsel, but you want to remain in your own way. Yan ang nakakatakot. Because there is a way which seemeth right unto a man's eye, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Dadalhin ka niyan sa kamatayan. There is no other way. Wala nang ibang daan. Si Kristo lamang, ang Diyos lamang. Kaya, let God be the center of your whole life. No? Siya yung sentro ng ating buong buhay. So, salamat ko dahil yung mga crusaders na kasama ko ay very active. Praise Lord. Si Master Helen, Sister Lilia, si Nanay Connie, yung mother ko talaga. Grabe. Nilibot nila rin yung bundok. Ako sabi ko, iwa lang ako kasi makipag-fellowship ako dito kay ano, brother, ano yung first name niya? Laing. Oh, brother Laing. Oh, so, meron ng mga invitations kay Pastor RJ. Meron ng mga nagpo-propose. Una itong birthday celebration. Sabi sa akin ng father-in-law ni ano, katuliko ako. Meron kaming kaabag that should handle The, 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 the celebration but since Pastor RJ is here I ask him to handle siya yung mag-handle di ba? opportunity praise the Lord oh. tapos meron siyang inopen sa akin meron akong brother who is suffering from sickness and hindi na siya makalakad-lakad makatrabaho nawa ko sa kanya saan yan ba na? marating ba yan ng sasakyan na yan? hindi masyadong looban. Sabi ko, if that is the case, let Pastor RJ do it for you. Mag-schedule lang kayo kung kailan. Kasi paalis na rin kami sa araw na ito. May mga nakabuk na, praise the Lord, na mga schedules. Kaya, to God be the glory, it was successfully done. At bukas, nag-invite na naman yung eldest brother ni Brother Nonoy Nadera na i-handle natin yung celebration ng birthday na kanilang yumaon na mother. San a mami narda. Gusto nilang i-celebrate for the last time. Pinakalas na daw kasi wala pang one year ata since she passed away. One year, kawa one year lang. Gusto nila i-celebrate. Praise the Lord. Sabi ko, sige. Because nanay, mami, nada, still your mother, even though she is no longer here, but the relationship between you and her shall never be uh, changed. So, maganda talaga na we will be gathering together to magnify God, to glorify God. And let us talk about your mommy, how he served God. At least, maano sila, ma-encourage sila sa paglilingkod din sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Dahil marami din sila participation sa ministry na ito. Hanggang ngayon, yung anak niya si Brother Nonoy at yung daughter in law niya. Tingnan mo yung kanilang participation. And this must continue until sa mga clan nila, sa mga kabana nila. Kaya God is fulfilling His promise. Nindigan lang tayo 
Angkin natin yung Act 16.31. Hintayin natin yung Act 16.31. Ito naman si Brother Roy. Nung nag si Pastor John Mark doon sa mga polis o PNP. Yung head pala doon, pamangkin lang ni ano, Brother Roy. Ang saya-saya ni Brother Roy. Pamangkin ko yan. At siya pa nag-request kay Pastor John Mark, come again here. Let us make our schedule regularly. Babalik-babalik na si Pastor John Mark do. Then, mawag din sa akin kay na si Pastor Alan. Uh, Ni-request siya to handle the spiritual values sa mga PNPs, sa mga polis sa Baganga. Sabi ko, yes, i-handle mo yan para makashare ka do ng Word of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, so, yung mga servants of God, binubuksan na ng Diyos ang pintuan for His servants to speak out the Word of God in all places, in all situations, non-government or government uh, sector. It doesn't matter. Kaya, pasalamat tayo sa Diyos. Be ready. Maghanda tayo lagi sa lahat na ipapagawa ng Diyos sa buhay natin. So, we will be expecting shower of blessings for that project. Praise the Lord from on high, from our God, from our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord.